everybody, I am the Lizzy Kiwi and today we're going to be doing something quite interesting. Today I decided that it would be a really fun idea to take social medias and try to turn it into sims. So this idea came to me when I remembered something I saw on Instagram quite a few years ago but I've seen, I've seen so so many different concepts that I just had to try it. It was basically these drawings or paintings or digital like images and stuff of people who made these outfits and like model figures and like you know how designers usually draw out their outfit ideas before they go and make them and stuff kind of like that but it was always social media but as outfits or as people and stuff like that and I always loved seeing it and I just remembered about that the other day and I needed to do that in The Sims. So it wasn't always social media, it was like a bunch of different things like flowers as outfits or stuff like that. There was a ton of them but I vividly remember these social media ones. I don't know if people are still doing these but that was something I remember from years ago that I sh it just popped up into my head and I really really wanted to do that for The Sims. So today we are going to be doing Instagram, we're doing TikTok and uh, we're doing four today. So <laughs> how can I forget these? Okay, so we have Instagram that we're doing right now. Uh, TikTok is after this one. Then we have YouTube. And then last but not least, we have a Pinterest. I feel like these are all aesthetic in their own different ways. Instagram, when I think of Instagram, I usually think of like modeling and very much like bougie and kind of, you know, the type of person that would be on their phone a lot, trying to take photos of everything around them and themselves, of course, of course. That's kind of the vibe that I was going for, so I wanted to do somebody who's kind of up with the trends, kind of very much trying to experiment and create their own trends, so that's why I made this sim. There's a lot of different colors because I did try to incorporate all of the colors of the Instagram a logo so like the yellows the pinks the purples I tried to get all of it on one sim so they might look a little bit funky with all of the different colors but I really wanted everything from the logo to be on the sim that is something that I was trying to be conscious of I think the only one that doesn't have the colors of the logo is Pinterest because I mean Pinterest just doesn't scream red to me. It's much more like vibey and aesthetic -y than red. So that's the only one that I didn't actually use the logo colors with. But now we're on to TikTok. So for TikTok, I was also thinking very much trendy, yet also dancer vibes. So like music was a big one with this because if you go on TikTok, you're more than likely gonna see somebody either lip syncing or dancing to some new popular song. So that's kind of what I wanted to go with for this one. Somebody who looks like a dancer or either a singer or just somebody who looks like they would be keeping up with all of them TikTok trends. You know, the <laughs> you know TikTok, okay? Maybe you don't. Honestly, if you don't know TikTok, you probably shouldn't. It's weirdly addicting. Like, you could scroll on there for hours, like a death scroll, or you could very easily get bored and want to just uninstall it immediately. For me, personally, I've been in a death scroll multiple times, but I also do get bored of it sometimes because sometimes the, the content is not contenting that day. <laughs> I don't know. But I do love how this sim turned out. I absolutely love the style that I went for. I wanted to incorporate the colors in a unique way with this sim. So I put on like a red shirt with a blue shirt underneath, which sounds wild. That sounds just so crazy, but I tried it and I loved it with this sim. So definitely one of those things where it's like, it's not something you think would work, but then you do it. And it definitely did work for me at least I think I think it turned out really well on this sim some of you might not like it but I absolutely love it I think it turned out spectacular and yeah well this whole concept is not really something that I thought I would do it was something that I thought of I really really wanted to do it but I didn't really know how to go about this like how do you turn social medias into sims 
So I was kind of on the rocks on whether I should do it or not, but I just couldn't get the idea out of my head. I just couldn't stop thinking about doing it. And the more I thought about it, of course, the more ideas I got for it. So there is going to be a second part because I initially was just going to do the one part. But the more I thought about it, the more things I thought of for different types of social medias. So this is part one of two. There is going to be a second part where I'm going to do more social medias, but I'm not going to say which ones just yet. I did already film that video because like I mentioned in my last video, Video. I am going to be taking some time off on Christmas time and there's also a lot of things that I'm going to be doing this December so I'm not gonna be as actively trying to record and edit my videos so I'm rather trying to do all of them at a faster pace kind of because I am pre-recording some of them so that I can do other things for this December time. Therefore, I already recorded the next video for this challenge, the part two to these social medias to Sims and I absolutely love all of them. So I really, really want to know what you guys think about this concept because if I can do it for social medias, I can possibly do it for a lot of different things as well. So if you have any ideas of things, it could be the most randomest things you could even think of, like birds. If you want to see me make birds into sims or different types of horses into sims, just let me know. Just comment it down below, tell me, I want to see you make Starbucks drinks into different types of sims. I would love to know what you guys can think of for me to make into sims. I maybe maybe possibly could turn that into a possible series i'm not too sure on that yet like for example a series where i make different things into sims it could be fun i'm i'm not gonna push that idea out just yet because it could really be fun but if you guys don't want to see that of course i'm not gonna do that because honestly <laughs> It's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of thinking that I need to do trying to figure out what an inanimate object or a thing would look like as a human. Well, not as technically a human, but it's a sim. It's like the most unrealistic human you could get. So it's technically a human, but still not. But it's still hard, okay? It's really hard to think of like the style and the aesthetic of a certain thing turned into like a human. It's it's difficult. I don't <laughs> for like YouTube, for example. Like YouTube can be so bougie at times, but then sometimes, like with my channel, it's so unserious. My channel is not supposed to be like a massive like corporation company trying to pop out cooking videos or something like that like it's not supposed to be like real serious okay but my channel i feel like it's still fun i'm still making content that i really enjoy and that you guys hopefully really enjoy as well so youtube was real difficult because at times it can be so so serious and so bougie and so up there you know and then other times it's so unserious so i really didn't know what to do for youtube so i did like a really nice dress but with a little jacket around the waist it was just it's such a cute thing <laughs> and for pinches this is the one that the only one that didn't have like the logo colors i wanted to keep it very much aesthetic very much like i don't want to say sad beige person but there's a lot of beige aesthetics on Pinterest, not mine, but Pinterest in general. So I wanted to still keep it kind of trendy, but with like a lot of the brownish colors, slightly, slightly cottagecore. This one personally, I don't really think has a lot of cottagecore, but there's a lot of cottagecore when I go on to Pinterest. So I wanted to keep all of that in, but yeah. I really enjoyed this challenge. I really hope you guys do too, because like I said, there is a part two coming of this. So if you guys don't enjoy it, I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Just leave a like anyway. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's basically everything for today. I really, really hope you guys love all of these sims as much as I do. And do let me know which one of them is your favorite. Personally, I'm going to go with the TikTok one. I just think she turned out so fun. But yeah, guys, thank you all so much so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy it please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel and i will definitely see you all in another video goodbye